the GNG G2010. It's not made of the exact same thing as the real thing, but it's highly realistic with the high strength polymer and metal in all the right places. Bullpup configuration with the magazine behind the trigger group. That gives it a compact overall size despite having an M4 length in a barrel. Unlike other bullpups, which are rear heavy due to the gearbox in the rear, the G2010 actually has a very good balance with metal in the front as well, meaning that it's center balanced, making it much easier to control. Following the ergo planning of the real thing, it feels a little chunky at first, but you get used to it rapidly. It has a very nice natural cheek weld. The grooves at the front are a little strange to get used to at first, but the sweeping curve means that it's an appropriate ergonomic grip no matter the size of your hand or position of your fingers, whether it's on the left or on the right. Taking Statnag M4 star magazines, this means that they're easy to source and are interchangeable with your friends with M4s. The magazine release button is accessible from either side and is obnoxiously large deliberately so that you can operate it even with the chunkiest of combat gloves. It has the ambi selector style of a P90. However, in automatic mode, you get the option of actually putting to use the two-stage trigger which behaves like an AUG. That means you can control semi or full auto on one single setting so you don't actually have to adjust the selector if you don't strictly want to. One half pull of the trigger for semi one full pull all the way for the automatic. The weapon does come with iron sights, however the rear iron sight flips down and the front iron sight can be completely removed to be completely clear of the 10 inch long upper accessory rail which can accommodate a wide variety of optical mounting systems. The bolt does nothing for hop-up access however as that's done through a deliberate hatch at the rear. Though very similar to a version 6, the gearbox is proprietary. However, it takes a normal AEG spring and piston, which is quick release. It also accepts standard gears and various internal parts inside the gearbox, meaning that they're easily sourceable for replacement, repairs, and for modifications. It clocks in at about 370 FPS. It's available in different versions, a standard and a longer length. And in both lengths, it's also available in tan. To find these, you can search our website for G2010, available at www.redwolfairsoft.com.